So this is the arson victims page on x.com. If you follow this account, you can see everything that we post. And if you repost everything that we put up, it will really help us to expand our reach and get our story to go viral. Um, I put pictures or videos here of the arsonists. And everything that uh, we claim in the press release is verified here with photos and videos and documents. Um, so this post shows the pictures of the damage from the fire and also has the Cal Fire incident report. This post is about Don Phelps trespassing on our land and we have the sheriff's incident report where they don't even mention Don Phelps name. This post is about Deppin's corrective deed, the fraudulent deed that uh, removed our easement. Uh, so this is page one. It shows it says here that he's using this instrument to remove our e our, to remove our easement. So the Siskiyou County Recorder's Office should have known that this was an improper use of a corrective deed and they should not have filed this document, but they filed it anyway. And then also knowing that it was removing our easement, they failed to provide my family with any notice that this document had been filed uh, or recorded, even though the recording of this document changed our real property interest. And then if you look on page two of the document, you can see that our easement clause has been removed. And this is one of the letters from Darren Mercier, who is Don Phelps' attorney. And the letter is a purchase offer from Don Phelps to buy our property for a fraction of its value. This is the arsonvictims.com webpage. This page is the story of the Farnsworths and their whole ordeal dealing with these land baron neighbors that have been obstructing their road. We've got two trespassers armed with rifles coming onto the property and then going into the cabin at night. Um, this is one of the wood piles that was blocking the road. Uh, the press release is available here uh, at the top on this menu. So if you want to read the full press release, it's here. And then there's a link to the donation page on Give, Send, Go. And if you can click to, to donate, any amount of money will help us. Um, and if you can share and try to get as many of your friends to donate a few dollars, eventually it will add up and help us and we can get our case into federal court. So please consider this and please, please consider sharing with everyone you know. This is James Veraxi Phelps's Cal Bar profile. It shows here that he's county council. And here it shows that his license, his bar license went inactive uh, from 2019 to 21, which was, you know, right during the period that Don Phelps, J uh, James Veraxi Phelps' father was trespassing on our property, threatening me, pulling guns on me, shooting at me. Um, so it's kind of interesting that his law license went inactive. And I'm not sure why that is. Another interesting thing is this is the profile for William Manson Carroll. And it shows here that he's the Siskiyou County Council's office, that he works in the Siskiyou County Council's office. But it doesn't say that for James Veraxi Phelps. It seems like they're trying to downplay the fact or, or conceal the fact that James Veraxi Phelps is working for Siskiyou County. Um, I also saw James Phelps listed on the district attorney's website. And I went back to get a screenshot of that and the web page had been updated and James Veraxi Phelps's name was no longer on it. Uh, so I went to the Wayback Machine, which is an internet archive that archives all pages on the internet. Um, and interesting again, <laughs> for everything from year 2019, seems to have been scrubbed and there are no archives of any pages here for this website. There's a bunch of stuff on YouTube if you want to check things out. Uh, this is a video of Don Phelps trespassing on our property. In court documents, he said that he came up to talk to me 
um, even though he said also said that I was always rude and aggressive with him and that I intimidated him and he was afraid of me. So I'm not sure why he would come up to the property alone to speak with me. But that's what he claims. Even though he never knocked on the door, <laughs> um, never called out to see if anybody was there. And also he knew that I wasn't there because he blocked the road intentionally to prevent me from moving onto the property. So why he thought I would be living there when he had blocked the road to prevent me from living there, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I had also given Don Phelps a letter that had my email address and phone number and mailing address on it. So I'm not sure why he wouldn't try to contact me through one of those means and would instead come up on our property without permission. There's another good video that shows the arsonist coming up to our cabin. There's the first old guy who I guess, you know, is probably less threatening. Um, he comes up and knocks on the door make sure that nobody's home and then signals to his buddies to come on up the hill they so he removes a propane tank that was connected to my hot water heater in the shower and then he goes back in and he and the younger man go in you can see them here through the window doing something And then they leave in haste. This younger guy appears to have stolen my alien knife. And then the cabin is going up in flames.